what is up guys it's Kovin here and welcome back to the channel so today i will be helping you guys build your first reef team now it's it's kind of tedious to show every reef team that you can build but it's also good to get a general sense of how to build your reef team um before we actually get to how to build your reef team we need to understand the enemy right what are you building for what is the point um so if you're going to determine well defeat defect <laughs> terminator zeon um he has two things that he does the first one is he constantly attacks the tank position which is the front most position constantly and then at some points he does an aoe to like counter an attack after like a couple of attacks into him right the second thing that he does is that he stacks these things called arc and they give him the ability to ignore 15 percent defense now there's a thing with terminator zeon his combined buffs and debuff always add up to 10. After 10, he will no longer get any buffs or any debuffs. And this is the linchpin of this um, game mode. Basically, at least for the fire one, right? Basically, you need to stack as much debuffs to stop him from gaining more arc stacks. Now, he starts off with three arc buffs, I think. And then we are supposed to stack up seven debuffs every time keep them constantly in rotation just that he doesn't get more arc stacks which will make him deal more damage and kill us we do not want that so uh, yeah from what we've learned as as to what the zeon wants to do we need to stack debuffs we need a tanky tank and then just deal damage from that point on um at the beginning it's not meant for us to kill it in one go maybe when we reach level 21 because we do get damage increase per level as you can see here per rc level rift control level and we'll get a various amount of damage buffs you know look at this one after hero in the background is an attack skill grants increase attack raider you know stuff like that will add up to us just dealing a lot of damage thus far the best people i've seen people do is like deal 25 percent of the hp in one turn which means that that is four runs to clear but it should get better as they release more units to help and also as we increase our rift control level for the early level which is level two the best one is this one because it when the back row unit attacks it gives an attack break which is one additional debuff that we can use let's get into the formation itself and in the tank position here you need to have a tank that does not rely on um having its cooldowns this is why someone like charlotte works so well because the xeon when it attacks every once every one of its single target attacks it increases cooldowns and if you have a tank like ras it will probably like um you know sc ras cecilia those tanks are not good tanks in this mode because they will get um cooldown increase then won't be able to use that third the third and second skills um you need a unit that has like a passive skill that doesn't rely on its third skill with a pretty strong skill one or someone like charlotte who in fact the third skill does not have any cooldowns i'll go through some of the better um alternatives in a moment and then the other important role so the, the the front one always put the tank there because it's the one that's gonna get mostly attacked the other ones don't then get attacked that much and then another important one is that at the background you need to put your debuffer and your debuffer needs to have high um high effectiveness um up to 105 that's the cap well not up to starting with 105 because the zeon has um the boss has 120 so 120 effect resist and you need 105 effectiveness plus so it helps that your debuffer has that and as you saw with the level two thing we were able you you can give the ability of the unit at the back um to do an attack break which is just one more debuff again i'll go through the options in the next section of this video and then you need a support um these these positions don't really matter you can switch them up really it could be anything but just think the top part is your support position you need a healer and a damage buffer that's all you need and then 
at the bottom here you need your dps it's also good for your damage dealer to put some debuff to have some debuff in that kit because if they don't have a debuff like um semia i think semia doesn't have a debuff right yeah, if they don't have a debuff like semia or like Mercedes, which i see some people use it's gonna be hard for you to make to to have an upkeep of debuffs on the boss right because you'll be solely dependent on your haste or whoever you do like surin also doubles up as a debuff right because she has almost as many bleeds as as haste and the boost assassin which can they can put torn sleeve on them which is like more bleeds so again you need a damage dealer now let's move on to the next part so those are the roles um what are good tanks um charlotte is one is one of the good tanks very good tanks um lilias is one because her passive not gonna be used and her first skill her third skill it's not like it's not we don't depend on her third skill right which means her first skill um will always will always call someone to attack and if you're calling your debuffer you're lending more debuffs if you're calling your damage you're dealing more damage than your more debuffs and someone like um like your healer could um heal on the s1 or put a debuff right she puts a debuff ras is not good ravi is pretty good you just switch off her skills because the damage of the first skill and the third skill is almost the same and on the first skill she heals herself and then this makes it such that she's able to survive for longer periods of time someone like ravi pretty good as your tank and then lastly the last candidate that i like for this position is ken because ken and charlotte are very similar they don't really have cooldowns on that third skill and the good thing is that he puts up um defense break charlotte also has a has a debuff on her first skill but it's an attack break right not really dependent on it. it's like 50 percent chance to land but with ken you have a 50 percent chance to put defense break as well right and with vigor if this skill is ever available probably not you can put um ignore effect resist defense break and then this is also an attack break as well so ken charlotte ravi and fire lilias are the best tank position candidates as for healers hazel is born ma ma mascot hazel sc hazel is born on the best because she starts the game with with the buffs she of the best she has the attack and the greater defense buff and every time you have like a like a fire team she becomes the best right increase attack of fire people increase effectiveness of fire allies right all these things when you have fire allies do this when an all fire allies recover her hp of 10 right when you do that fire element she is basically just the fire healer de facto so she's the best put her in you will not be disappointed great attack buff always good and then the second one would be tamarin the only problem with tamarin this time tamarin overall is better than hazel of course but the only problem with tamarin this time is that tamarin takes a while to ramp up right if you get to tamarin here she takes a while to ramp up because she'll be doing s1 and s2 before she turns she transform into idle mode whereby she has the ap push she has the attack buff and she kind of stops being a healer with the s1 so tamarin is okay ish but not better than um than hazel but she's good and if you have her you can slaughter if you don't want to like raise specialty change hazel right then the last candidate you can put uh is akatas um akatas is good if you're manually in fact you can do something like this she can be your tank and you can have two dps and one debuffer at the back right and why this works is that you can do the good old s2 s3 s2 s3 and if you stack enough resistance and get resistance from this as well she can always have this going on but this is a where you farm gear it's a it's a it's a like the rift is like a gear farming area so you don't want to use your gear farming area in manual so maybe like for your first tier you can do the akatas trick but otherwise uh not the not the best option i don't i don't trust in it i'll put back my hazel now let's get to the back 
डी बाफस डी बाफस हेस्ट इज द बेस्ट वन सूरिन इज अनादर गुड डी बफा एंड देन अनादर गुड वन विच पीपल डोंट यूज वो अलॉट इज बैलेंस एज अन Balen Sazan is good because he well they <laughs> they have this it's unhealable is decreased defense is decreased speed right and you can put Seirar in I think it's Seirar in uh, you can put Seirar in to put even more debuffs right yeah Seirar in there you go 40% chance to put decrease attack decrease hit chance um these ones don't land is basically you are rolling for decrease attack right but uh long story short ball has these three debuffs and it's similar to haste with his third skill right if you look at haste he'll put up two bleeds and one defense break and ball will do the same put three even though haste's come back and put vent perfect touch and unhealable and he can use torn sleeve which is inflict bleeding it's pretty good um so i mentioned haste i mentioned surin as a debuffer she has she has debuffs here right two bleeds and an attack break that's three debuffs ah uh, you can have a bleed here right and then you can put bleeds and detonate some right and you can have her on i forgot you can have her on torn sleeve as well so she's good haste surin uh balance is on can be your debuffers and lastly you can put the new guy kane who's coming uh put kane in and then yeah it should it should all work out as a debuffer as well moving on to dps dps as i mentioned you want dps that also put debuffs you don't want dps that do not put debuffs um specialty change carmen rose has a debuff is a speed down you can put her as your dps I built my Surin as a DPS. I put her in. Someone like Semio doesn't work, not really. Um you can put Edward, Edward Elric from if you have the four metal alchemist units, I do not have them. You can put up Edward Elric. Um he will like the the Zion will put debuffs on you as well. So Edward Elric will counter and put debuffs on him. Uh random ones of course. And um yeah. And um It should work out. So bad guy has an unbuffable as the third skill. So so bad guy is a good candidate of this. You can even have um. There's a lady. She comes with chatty. I mean, you can have Milim, but like not really, right? Milim, but not really. Kairon, not really. Kawarik, not really. Basically, you just need DPS that also put our uh, debuffs. But if you have your debuffer super fast, I can see you running. DPS that doesn't have um debuffs you know you are running your jacko you are running your semia and some people are running the SC Mercedes so that's about it for them let's get into a single run and I'll explain a couple more things or like goals of this while it's running the first thing you need to put in note is that this this has to land all three <laughs> shit it's just two it's fine It's fine. It will it will put one more stack when it's its turn, right? Because Soren's not gonna start with a second skill. She should start with a second skill actually. It's pretty bad that she doesn't. But the first thing you want to note here is that you need these turns to reach to zero, and that's the win condition, right? You need these turns to reach to zero. It starts at forty. Basically, survive forty turns, and then your win will count. If you don't survive forty turns and you die, it doesn't count as a win, basically. And how do you know that you have a total of ten buffs and debuffs at the bottom? If you two, if you see two debuffs at the bottom here, it means you have that's your goal. Those two debuffs at the bottom means that you have reached ten buffs and debuffs. If you didn't, it will add a buff as you saw there, right? Um, due to the nature of bleeds, sometimes you think you go into a turn and you have it, but you really don't. <laughs> so it uh, it will naturally get a stack of th that thing, right? But otherwise, yeah, the goal, as you can see, 27 turns there, and you'll see with the first skill, it always adjusts attacks. The front one, as you can see, this skill it increases. That skill increases cooldowns of of the person it's attacking. Most of the time, it's a front row. 
no not most of the time it's always a front row and then we'll do an ultimate right now as you will see it's like this beam it shows that the full zeon i guess when its turn comes it's its turn yeah it does a beam it's gonna do this beam one more time before the tens ends and then this is your time to again put more debuffs but sora in doing the third skill definitely not a good side uh it's just gonna add another stack and that's about it guys that's the that's the thing i'll just push it through as i mentioned again these are not the only options you have a myriad of options three supports you can go through tamarin akatas the best of them being hazel tanks you can go for fire ravi fire ken charlotte roy mustang can double up as a tank as well because it's kind of hard to kill a roy mustang debuffers haste suited the new guy kane coming in and you also have a uh, fire balances on and then for dps you have there's actually a lady who comes with chatty she's a mage she also has debuffs right she deals she deals damage <laughs> she deals like the ones with the big boober are like flash her thing here but yeah she deals a lot of damage but there you go guys i think Sorin dies here maybe maybe not sometimes she dies sometimes she doesn't it really just depends it really just depends on how angry this thing is and we might just finish the turns without Sorin dying that would be a surprise that would be a surprise for the ages uh she dies probably here and you, as you can see it's a clear right i think i'm gonna change Sorin to someone who deals a lot more damage just that i spend a lot less energy trying to clear this content but there you go guys that's what you get for this content here um not so bad i'm sure you guys can come up with your own teams um hopefully the information i gave you helps build a, a good team with that being said thank you for watching guys give, please give me a like comment and a subscribe if this helped you in any way or form i do daily epic 7 content and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.